Hey, what's happening, everybody? It is Jason Thrifts, and I'm back with my scores of the week, number 17. This is my weekly, a uh, little shorter video, about 10 minutes, just show you the good scores from the last week or so. And these are bolos, things that you should be on the lookout for when you're outsourcing. All right, first thing, uh, we always start with my regular scores of the week. Regular scores meaning non-music. But oddly enough, the first thing whoops, is a Grateful Dead t-shirt. Now, this Grateful Dead t-shirt was well-loved, was well-worn, was well-washed. Uh, and I did mention that. Now, you don't see it in here because my listings get duplicated on six foreign sites. So apparently, the condition box does not follow through, but it gets put in the description. Uh, so you can see this sold directly on eBay.uk. So it doesn't matter where people live. As I've always said, music is the universal language. And this sold directly on eBay UK for $30. Wee -hoo. I like when I sell worn out clothes for a good amount of money. All right. We have talked about this in the past on Thrifty Business. If you don't know what Black Hat is, Black Hat is, it's a convention that happens every year, every year here in Vegas when we're not under COVID. Uh, but Black Hat is the hackers of the world. It's their convention. So the good and the bad about living in Vegas is all leftover convention stuff, all leftover giveaways at local casinos all end up in our thrift stores. Now, the leftover crap from the local casinos isn't worth my time. Now, all convention stuff is, but stuff like Black Hat always is. And as you can see, I found six of these backpacks. They were uh, $2.99 each. And I sold them around $24 each times six. So uh, if you see any Black Hat stuff, always snag it. All right, from one Vegas institution to another, the tender trap, man. I found this satin jacket from a long, long ago closed uh, gentleman's club here in Las Vegas called the tender trap. And I'm like, oh man, I got to have that because I know someone will love it. And it didn't even deter me from buying it that uh, it was Steve's jacket. Uh, and, and again, when you have a mannequin with articulated arms and hands, you can do fun things like let's open the jacket. So there's the logo on the front. There's Steve's name. And there's a logo on the back, 40 bucks, 40 bucks. And it sold quick. I had listed it once. I had listed it once and uh, uh, the person, I forget where they backed out. So I relisted it up the price a little bit and they took it for 40. Yay. Me, woo Anything old and satin like this, if it's from a place, whether the place was still in business, long gone, cool, not cool. These vintage satin jackets tend to sell quite well. And when you have a gentleman's club, come on, they need bras. I just taught a class in the Secret Beach, uh, a web class on flipping bras. And like 20 minutes after the class was over, this bra sold. It was like the universe saying, here you go. Uh, so Kasik is a great black, great, yeah, Kasik is a great brand to find. And this one was new with tags. And I picked it up for $3.00. And 99 cents. All right. Now it's time for my music scores of the week. And as always, we start with cassettes. Now, I'm showing you a dud. I'm showing you a loser, but here's why. These three uh, White Snake cassettes sold for seven bucks, free shipping. There's no money after that, really. But the customer already wrote me and thanked me, thanked me, thanked me, thanked me. And uh, I know I got a customer for life now. They'll come back and they'll look at my stuff on Macari all the time. So, you know, if you don't know what a lost leader is, that's when you sell something so cheap that you lose money, but it gets people in the door. Now, usually lost leaders are used at places like Best Buy. Oh, I can get this TV for $5. Cool. While I'm here, I'm going to pick up an Xbox and a MacBook Air and some controllers and a refrigerator. And so that's the whole goal of a lost leader. Now, in this one, I had nothing else to sell her at this moment, but hopefully she comes back again and again and again. All right, let's talk vinyl. My son, Pua. You ain't, you ain't never heard of him. But when Ohio, 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 when Hawaii was starting to become a state, uh, there was tons of music coming out of Hawaii. Tons. Like, I am a collector of Hawaiian vinyl, and weekly, I still find stuff I've never seen before. And I've been collecting Hawaiian vinyl for 20 years. And you know me, I buy and sell a lot of media. And so... I can never know it all. Same with Hawaiian shirts. When people show me labels, I'm like, I've never seen that label. And I've been buying and selling Hawaiian clothes for just as long. Uh, so not all of it's good. 
it's all passable. Uh, and it's uh, the same 50 songs over and over and over on all, on all these uh, records. Uh, but some are better than others. And you don't know until you research. I didn't know my son Pua was going to be a good one. But as you can see, again, it sold directly on eBay.uk for $44. And so someone on eBay.uk in the last two weeks needed a beat up Grateful Dead t-shirt and a My Son Pua LP. So uh, if you want to learn how to list on foreign sites, that's something I could uh, teach in the uh, coming future. So if that interests you, leave a message down below. And uh, if there's enough people who said, yeah, I want to learn that, then I'll put a class together. Now, this one was a record that came out for Record Store Day a couple of weeks ago. And my local record store got way too many of them. And I thought that was weird. Usually record store day stuff, they get fives, they get tens. Some of the bigger ones, they'll get like twenties, but they'll be gone like that. <clears throat> so there's print sign of the times. It's on, it's a double LP on two picture discs. I bought it cause I wanted it and they still had like 30. So I, I'll put it up for sale and it's sold. So I saw back the record store, put it up for sale again and it's sold. And this is the third one that's sold. And uh, I've been busy. I haven't been able to check if they got any more. So I have one sitting here. If they've got some more, then I'll, I'll sell another one. But, you know, if you can find a source that isn't depleted, keep selling. Keep selling until it is. But I didn't buy them all at once. No need to put out the money. Like if I go back and there's none left, great. I'll just keep the one I got. I sold three. And the money I made off of those three, pay for the one I got for myself. Free music. How can you beat that? All right. Whoops. No, we'll talk about that in a second. All right. Even I don't know some people. Uh, when I was working through the promo CDs that I bought 2,400 of, I'm like, who the hell is Stacey Earl? Didn't know her. And we had a couple different promo CDs and I was talking to my sis and I'm like, does anyone care? She's like, I don't know. It doesn't look that way. I said, all right, let's try it. I mean, look, we own them 75 cents each and uh, 21 bucks. And it's funny when my assistant came in, uh, the, the music's in my office and the shipping's happening out there. When she came in to pull it, she goes, it just like we had the conversation the day before, but it actually had been weeks before. She walks in and goes, someone cared. <laughs> uh, maybe it's Stacey Earl herself. Who knows? Uh, but, you know, just because you see a promo CD of an artist or a band you don't know, doesn't mean it's not worth money. And I know a lot. So, you know, not everyone has a crazy knowledge I have, but I was pleasantly surprised. And I'm always very happy when I'm pleasantly surprised. All right. Here's another one from that collection. Blink-182, it is the song Dump Weed Live and an interview of the band. So one song in an interview. Now, I did take a best offer of $60. Now, this one was a little tricky because I wanted to keep it in the original case with the MCA Music America on it. But, of course, that also obscures the cover behind it. But I'm like, all right, I think I'm going to leave it as is because instead of fresh and putting a fresh case on, this definitely this logo on the case sets it in a period of time. And so when you have something you can keep in that period of time, uh, do it. it. It definitely says, okay, here is like 1994. That's what it's telling me. But then, of course, the next picture I had the, the cover all by itself. All by myself. So the song on here is two minutes and 50 seconds long. That's it. That's it. And the, the interview is twice. One time with an interviewer and one time without. And so what that means is uh, back in the days... Radio could play this like they were interviewing the band in studio. They could lie to you and pretend Mark, Tom, and Travis were in the studio without uh, without the host. So the host could be there. Welcome to WKRP in Cincinnati. Sit with me today is Blink-182. Hey, guys, so tell me about the new album. And then you would click play, and it would play the, the part where they're talking about the new album. And then you'd pause, and you're like, all right, so Travis, uh, you tried some new drums out this album. Is that the, How'd that work out? And you click play. And so there, I'm, I'm giving you the behind the scenes. Now, if you didn't want to do that, you could just push play and have an announcer interview them right on through. 60 bucks. 60 bucks. So don't overlook that. And Christmas is here and is selling. This was listed for about an hour and a half. This is a Weezer uh, promo CD that came out in 2000, 20 years old and has two songs. Two songs. I've sold this CD 30, 40 times over the last 20 years. 24 bucks. And if you didn't see Thrifty Business last week, you didn't see my Billy Idol Happy Holidays for $75. Now, if you're a Billy Idol fan, you didn't know this existed. This is a great Christmas album. If you find it, rip it to your phone, put it on your computer, and then sell it and get your money. 
uh, but $75. Who are these people that keep calling me? Like, so if your Christmas stuff isn't up yet, get it up. And speaking of this Sunday on selling past your expiration date, being thrifty or 50, that's what mom and I are going to be talking about prepping for Christmas. You should have had all your stuff up by now. We're already uh, early November, but not to worry. It'll still sell. We're going to talk about what you need to do to get it up and get it ready and where to list it. And before that, this Thursday, uh, tomorrow, if you're watching this today, which is Wednesday, uh, selling vintage Catholic kitsch. We have talked re regular religious items, and specifically, we talked a whole episode on Bibles. But what about Jesus paint by numbers? What about Jesus flashy clocks? What about uh, the manger scene in blow molds for outside your house at Christmas time? That's kitsch. That's what we're talking about. So uh, Char and John Day are going to be talking to us all about flipping Catholic kitsch. All right. So thank you very much. Give me a big old thumbs up. Smash that button down below and let me know that you're liking these. If you got any comments, please leave them down below. And then if you've never subscribed, if you're new, hi, welcome to the channel. Subscribe and click that bell and let me know what you would like me to uh, cover in the upcoming episodes of both my YouTube shows. All right, I'll see you around the thrift store. Be good, everybody.